In patients having vaginal delivery, postpartum hemorrhage remains the leading cause of maternal death and complications worldwide, despite evidence-informed recommendations for prevention and treatment. Challenges include delayed or no detection of postpartum hemorrhage and inconsistent use of interventions. A new trial compared a multi-component clinical intervention with usual care for the early diagnosis and treatment of postpartum hemorrhage in women having vaginal delivery. The intervention included a calibrated blood collection drape for early detection of postpartum hemorrhage and a bundle of first response treatments, including uterine massage, oxytocic drugs, tranexamic acid, intravenous fluids, examination, and escalation of treatment when needed. In this large parallel cluster randomized trial, 80 hospitals in Africa were randomly assigned to receive the trial intervention for seven months, with a two-month transition period for training and implementation or to continue usual care. The risk of the primary outcome, defined as a composite of severe postpartum hemorrhage, laparotomy for bleeding, or maternal death from bleeding, was significantly lower in the intervention group than in the usual care group, at 1.6% as compared with 4.3%. Key secondary implementation outcomes also favored the intervention group, including detection of postpartum hemorrhage and adherence to the treatment bundle. The authors conclude that among patients having vaginal delivery, a multi-component clinical intervention resulted in a significantly lower risk of the primary outcome, a composite of severe postpartum hemorrhage, laparotomy for bleeding, or maternal death from bleeding, as compared with usual care. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.